Hello, my wonderful ladies. So welcome once again to another lesson on science. And what are we talking about today? Uh, the main strand is diversity of matter. Diversity of matter. And our south strand is um, changes of states of matter. Changes of states of matter. So we want to talk about matter. We want to talk about matter. So what are we doing? What are we learning today? We are learning to first explain the term matter uh, and two describe the three states of matter. Describe the three states of matter. So our keywords, some keywords we meet in the lesson. Uh, we meet in the lesson one matter, matter, solid, liquid, gas, and then mass, mass, mass. Let's come. Let's start up. Start up. So we'll take this starter and then you tell me the answer right now. Start up. Look around you and measure some things you can see. So just look around you. And measure anything at all you can see. Yes. Yes. Okay. Chair. <laughs> Chair. Yes. House. Okay. Mm -hmm. Table. Yes. Spoon. Okay. You will let's see etc. Et yeah. So you can see many things around you. You can see many things around you. A lot of things. Yeah. Trees, uh, cars, uh, what I mean. Uh, a lot of things. All those things. We see they are matter, okay? They are what? Matter. So, on top of matter, it's not anything. It's just things around us, things that we are using, things that we have been uh, eating, the, way, the things, the food we eat, and other stuff. They are all what? Uh, matter. So, what is matter? So, matter is anything which takes up space and has mass. Which takes up space and has mass. So anything at all that can take space and also has some mass is what? Matter. Mass, what is it mass? Is any quantity of objects. The quantity of what? Objects. Okay? Or the weight of the object becomes what? The mass of the object. So the quantity of the object sometimes determines the weight of that object. But not always. So, is it matter is for anything which takes up space and has matter, okay? So we can see, so anything we can see, we can feel, we can touch, they are all what? Matter, okay? They are all matter. So let's come here. Activity. To demonstrate that matter takes up space. To demonstrate that matter takes up space. When I say space, when I put this object here, I put this object here. What has happened to the object? This particular has taken what? Space. They are taking space. Okay? They are taking the space. So matter needs support space. And that one. One thing you don't know, you can't see it. But we have been feeling it. Look at it. I put this beaker. So one, we should take an empty glass tumbler and a or tumbler and a glass drop half filled with water. So this is it. These are my materials, right? This is my beaker. Yeah. Now you can see it. So when I put this in, look at it too. When I put this in, and I raise it like this more, you'll be seeing that some bubbles are hot, are coming out. You'll be seeing some bubbles are hot, are really coming out. So when I do like this and I put something like this and I raise it more, you will see what was coming out. That means that though you can't see that the space here, you can't see it, it has taken the, the space. And that thing is all, it's air. The air is in, inside, so it has taken the space. That is making the bubbles to, to come out. That's making the bubbles to come out. So we can't see that air, all right, but it takes a point, space. You can't see it, but it takes a Look at this rubber I'm having. There's nothing inside. But let me do something like this. I 
has taken the space is what? Air. So I breathe in this air, and that air has taken the space. No, we can't see the air, but it has taken what? The space. That's why we say matter is anything that takes what? Up space and also what? Also has mass. When it has mass, it has what? Some weight. Some weight. That means that's what? Mass. When it has some weight, it's what? Mass. So all these things here are hot. Are matter, okay? All these things here are hot. Are matter. They are hot. Matter. They are something. And they have taken up space and they have mass because they have some weight. They have some weight. You will see that this one is lighter, the weight is very light. Okay? So this one is having some hot space. One, we want to talk about what? The three states of what? Matter or the states of matter. We want to talk about the states of matter. First of all, look at the object I'm having here. This is water. This is water, right? This is water. This is what? Stone. This is stone. This is thick. This one is rubber, but I have, I have something inside, and that thing is what? It's air. It's air. This is also matter. This is also matter. This is water inside in the bottle. So look at it. Here we have all this. This one, what form is this? Uh, what form? You see that it's heavy? It's heavy. When I used to hit you, you feel the pins. Eh? It's heavy, right? It's heavy. And it's hard too. It's hard. Hmm? So anything hard like this, the form like this, anything hard like this, that. Anything hard like this, all this. You see that this one is very hard. We have a name given to it. And the name is what? Solid. It's what? Solid. So all solid substances. Look at this. So anything hard like this in this form. Look at it. Very hard. Uh, look at this bottle. It's hard. Okay? So all these substances, hard like this, we say they are what? Solid. They are what? Solid. So when I have this in liquid form like this, uh, this one, so I have mentioned something. Uh, when I have this water, this one, yeah. This one is what? Water. Okay. So it is what? The name given to it is what? Liquid. The general name given to it is what? Liquid. So when I have this, it is a liquid. Yeah? When I have this one inside, this one is air. And I can have it in different form. We call them what? Gas. We call them gas. So the three main states of matter are what? We have solid, we have liquid, and we have what? We have, uh, sorry, we have gas. Okay. Yes, it's inside. Oh, you can't see it, but that is, it has occupied the space inside here. When I put this one inside, you see that you can't see that thing, but when I raise it, what is happening? There's bubble. That means uh, there's air inside. Okay? So the air, the general name given to all those, we call them what? We have solid, the hard one solid, the liquid one, the, this one, in the form of all this form, we call them what? Liquids. And the, this one, the form of all this, you see, gas. So let's first discuss solid. We say a solid has. A definite shape and volume. When we say definite shape, that means you can measure the shape. You can measure the, the shape. It's definite. You can measure it. It's not something that you can't have here. It hasn't, you, you can't measure. Since we can measure the, the, the shape, it's definite. Okay, so look at this, this definite. You can measure this one. Uh, look at this. You can measure this. It's solid. This is solid. So this is solid. They have definite shape and what? Definite what? Volume. Okay. This one, you can measure the volume, you know the volume. When we measure the area, and the area, you can get volume, okay? So we see a solid has a definite shape and volume. The shape of a solid does not change unless some force is applied on it. Solid do not diffuse in air. Example, we have example of them, that example. So we say first, solid, it can not change the shape unless you apply some hard force. So this, when I want to change this shape, unless I apply some high force, you see that how I'm hitting it. Huh? You see how I'm hitting it. I want to apply the force before you can change the shape of it because it's very hot, hard. So unless you apply force before you can change the shape, and it can diffuse, meaning that it can't spread in the air. It can't spread in the air. So when I do it, it will not spread because it's hot, solid, it's hard. So it can diffuse in the air, meaning that it can't spread in the air. So examples of solid are what? Rock, brick, wood, ice. Ice when it's in the fridge, water, when you put the water in the fridge for some time, it will be ice. But hard. When you used to hit your forehead, you see that you can't even uh, move to a group of people again. So now let's come to what? Liquid. So we have uh, talked about what? Solid. We want to talk about liquids too. Okay? I'm talking about liquids. He said any form of water, anything in water form, watery form, is what? Liquid. 
So liquids, liquids has a liquid has a definite volume, a definite volume, but does not have a definite a definite what shape. When I say definite volume, that means when I when I fill this water, you see there is no shape. When I pour it here, the shape is different. Have you seen something like that? When it's here, the shape is different. When it's here, the shape is different. When I pour it inside this one, the shape. So it takes the shape of the earth, of the object is here, is being filled or is inside. It takes that object shape. So it has, it has no more definite shape, no definite shape because that means the shape is not what you can't measure the shape, okay? But the volume is definite. You see, the volume is definite because it takes when you want to measure the volume, you measure the volume using the object it what it occupy or it filled. Okay, this is the object, so you can have the get the volume, but the shape you can't go to measure it. So we say that it takes the shape of a container in which it is kept. So the container in which it is kept, you see that they are there. So when you pour this water in different container, it will take that shape. When you pour it in different things, it will take what? that shape. So you see that it takes the shape of what? Of its container. Okay, so example of what? Liquid are hot. Example, some example of liquid are hot, milk, water, oil, uh, and a lot more. A lot more. Let's talk about gas. Let's talk about gases. We said anything in the form of what? Um, air is what? Gas. Or we have the name, the name is what? Gas. So, gases. A gas has neither a definite shape nor a definite volume. That means for air, it's a, you can measure the shape and also you can measure the volume. Okay, you can measure the shape and you can measure the volume because this one you can even press the volume. So the air is spread, you can measure it. Okay, you can measure it. So we say for air, it diffuses in the heart, in the air, it diffuses, it spread out. Okay, so you can measure the volume and you can measure the what? The shape too, because how can we even see the air? How can we measure it? So it's very difficult. You can measure the volume or the shape. And it occupies the complete space of a container in which it is kept. As I said, this one is here, the container, the each container is this. When you get balloon, you get you blow some, you blow some air into it. You see that it will be filled. So the container that you have the air in will take that shape. Huh? To take that shape. So some examples of gases are some examples of gases are air. Oxygen, they all breathe into our body, we call it oxygen. They all breathe in, we call it oxygen. Nitrogen in the form of what? Oxygen. And nitrogen is in the form of oxygen. And carbon dioxide. When you are there in the cloud, you go boom. This is something that thing that come out, we call it what? Carbon dioxide. And carbon dioxide. So all these things are in the form of what? Air. You will not see them. You always feel it. You always feel the same sometimes. So you can feel the same sometimes. You can feel the fresh air. Okay. So we have what? Three minutes state of matter that can take what space. The three minutes state of matter we mentioned what gases, liquids, and what and then uh, solid. And we have explained them. So these are how they are, how they they, they, they have to be. When you see them, you know that this is air, when you see that this, you know that this is what uh, liquid, this is what solid. Okay, so these are the three states of matter we have to talk about. I want to learn how to put back for now.